Our Webb Space Telescope captures a cosmic ring, the team behind our upcoming Psyche mission, and the unique thing about a star that was ripped apart by a black hole. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. Our James Webb Space Telescope has observed the Ring Nebula in unprecedented detail. Formed by a dying star throwing off its outer layers as it runs out of fuel, the Ring Nebula is one of the best-known examples of a planetary nebula. It is relatively close to Earth at roughly 2,200 light-years away. Our Psyche spacecraft is targeted for launch no earlier than October 5th to a metal-rich asteroid also named Psyche. A new video series called Behind the Spacecraft highlights several members of the Psyche team and their contributions to the mission. The videos are being released on several of our Jet Propulsion Laboratory's social media platforms. The mission could help answer fundamental questions about how rocky planets like Earth formed and about the formation of our solar system. Astronomers used our Chandra X-ray Observatory and ESA's XMM Newton to study material believed to be from a star that was ripped apart by a giant black hole, an event being called Assassin 14 Li. The relative amount of nitrogen to carbon astronomers found indicates that the material weighs about three times the mass of our Sun, which would make the star in Assassin 14 Li one of the most massive ever seen ripped apart by a black hole to date. The Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope team has begun integrating and testing the spacecraft's harness, the electrical cabling that functions as the telescope's nervous system. The harness provides power and commands to Roman's instruments, enables different parts of the telescope to communicate with one another, and helps the central computer monitor the telescope's functions. Roman will survey billions of cosmic objects and help untangle mysteries like dark energy following its launch by May 2027. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov.